Can AI make a Super Mario Bros. clone without me having to write a single line of code? Well, let's find out. So I have all of the sprites necessary to make the game. What I'm going to do is plug all of these images into an AI tool called Leonardo.ai, and then it will give us an AI generated version of that image. The first sprite we're gonna do is the small version of Mario. So we're gonna plug that in. I just have a prompt filled with a bunch of random keywords and hopefully it'll look good, but I guess we're gonna have to find out. Let's generate. Dude, what the heck? That's not any, bro, what is that? Hold up, let's try again, let's try again. That is just cursed, like that is, that is not Mario. Dude, so I'm kind of stuck between two right now. Either this one or this one. I say we just go with this one for now because I feel like it's most accurate to the original. Next up is the bigger version of Mario. So let's plug him in. There we go and let's generate. Ooh, what the heck? I don't even know what that is, like what? Let's try one more. All right, dude, what is this? Like what? <laughs> Yo, I kind of like the one on the left. It's just very odd. All right, yeah, I think I'm gonna go with this one. <laughs> Alrighty, next up is the Goomba. Ooh, interesting, interesting, interesting. Let's try one more. Honestly, for the Goomba, I say we just go with this one. Now for the Koopa Troopa. Oh, no. We're gonna have to try that again. <laughs> Why does his nose look like that? Yo, this Koopa is mad cursed no kids. You know, I kind of like this one the most. It's very interesting. So this will be our Koopa, I guess. Now for the mushroom. That's a pretty good looking mushroom. Let's go with this one. Let's go with this one. That'll be the mushroom. Bet. That was first try. Let's move on to the green pipe. <laughs> Ooh, I actually kind of like that. This one's pretty cool. Frick it, dude. Let's just go with this one. Okay, this one is actually pretty interesting. It's the question block. Let's see. That is just terrible. That is awful. Yeah, yeah, that is it. This is the one. All right, time for the ground tile. Yo, chill. This looks very AI generated. That's kind of the look I'm going for. We'll give it a couple more tries, I say. Nah, I like this one a lot, actually. I think we're just going to go with this one. The last sprite we need is the castle. Ooh, interesting, interesting. Oh, I actually like that. All right, for the castle, I say we just go with this one. Alrighty, boys, I am in a new Unity project and I have all of the assets completed right here. So the first thing we're going to add to the game is player movement. But first we need to set up a scene where Mario can run around. All right, now we can place some of the ground tiles. And then we can drag Mario into the scene. Oh, whoa, whoa. He is looking a little too big, so let's scale him down. Okay, now that we have our Mario in the scene, it is time to ask ChatGPT to write us some code for the movement. Alrighty, here is my prompt. We are going to send it. Hopefully, the script it gives us will work. Okay, it gave us the script, so let's copy it. And we can paste in the code. Then we're going to drag the script onto Mario. And let's give it the first test. Here we go. All right, let's see. What? Why did we just get so big? What the heck? So I was able to find the problem in the code, but I couldn't change it myself. So I had to ask ChatGPT to do it for me. All right, send. Okay, it looks like it has made the correct changes. Should work now. Let's see. All right, there we go. There we go. Mario is moving around and it works pretty well. Then I use the same method for the camera follow. Let's test if it works. All right, we're gonna move to the right and it should follow us. There we go, and we shouldn't be able to move back. Yes, yes, let's go, let's go. Okay, now it's time to work on the mystery block, so let's do it. I wrote the prompt, and I'm going to send it to chat GPT. I wrote the script, let's copy it. Okay, boys, we have the mystery block set up in the scene, and let's test if it works. Nah, first try, let's go. <laughs> it is time to work on the mushroom, which just makes Mario bigger when he collides with it. So let's work on that. I gave it the prompt and here is the script it gave me. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the mushroom should work now. Ooh, there we go, let's go. That's what we like to see, boys. But there is a slight problem. As you can see, his feet are kind of in the ground. So I asked ChatGPT to offset the sprite's position on the Y axis, and it works rather nicely now. All right, there we go. So now that we can turn into Big Mario, we need to be able to like smash these brick blocks. So I'm gonna type in my prompt to ChatGPT. We are going to send.
first try i highly doubt it but we'll see we'll see you know what this actually looks pretty good so let's copy the code then we'll paste it in all right let's test if the goomba works where did it go oh it's running away get back here three two one all right, it's been a lot of back and forth with chat GPT, you know, sending a lot of prompts, trying to get it to fix stuff. And I think now it should work. Yeah, let's go. Also, when we hit it from the side, we should respawn. There we go. Now it is time to work on the flower. And I have it in the scene right here, but it does nothing right now. So let's ask chat GPT to get it working. Okay, I took the code from chat GPT and... Yes, sir. First try, baby. Let's go. All right. So although we have the fire flower working, we can't shoot fireballs like the actual game. And you guessed it. I took the code from ChatGPT, put it into my game, and prayed that it would work. Boom. All right. We're Fire Mario. We should be able to throw a fireball. Come on. Come on. Oh! Oh! And then when we hit the Goomba, it should die. Let's go. All right, that. There we go. So now we pretty much have all of the mechanics complete. We can start to work on the level. We finished the level. Let's go. Okay, before we move on to the final gameplay, we need a soundtrack for the game. All right, so I'm on this website called Mellow Bytes where you can do an image to song. And using this screenshot, I generated the song. It's better be a banger, bro. All right, looks like our song has finally generated. I say we give it a listen. <laughs> uh oh. I don't know what to expect. Last time it was kind of interesting. Oh! Oh, it's actually kind of a banger. What? Now that is a certified hood classic. Bro, I'm out, man. All right, let's download it and put it into the game. Yeah, that was the final step, and now the game was complete. I try to make it as accurate as possible to the original. It might be a little bit off with like the scaling and stuff, but that's all right. Oh, and you can't go down any of the pipes. I didn't want ChatGPT to be like overwhelmed with the amount of work it had to do. So I just left that one out. All right, then you gotta make this little jump right here. Then in here, there is a fire flower. You go grab that and then you can take these Goombas out up here. Boom. Yes, sir. Take these Goombas out with some fireballs. There's a Koopa. Yo, the Koopas are mad cute, not gonna lie. All right, so we can take out the Koopa. Some more Goombas on here, four Goombas. Gotta make this jump. Yes, sir. Then we're near the end. Another pipe you can't go in. Boom, boom. Go up the final staircase. And boom. Let's go. We just won. ChatGPT made Super Mario Bros. That's what we like to see, boys.